my now ex-husband and I, had, we'd been together a very long time. We were married over 20 years. And uh, the, the last two thirds of it were, were pretty horrendous. Through all the time that we were together, part of the problem to get the courage to leave was his threats that if I attempted to leave him, he wasn't worried about that because he, he knew where to find me. And if I tried to leave him, he'd come and, and kill me. Life finally got to the point where um, it didn't matter anymore. It had to be better than, than staying where I was. So I did leave, and within a week of leaving him, he came to where I was working, and he attacked me, and he stabbed me a lot. And uh, I went to Parkland, and through Parkland um, and some of their services there, uh, they were able to place me here at the Salvation Army in the domestic violence shelter. It was an amazing thing that happened to me when I came here. Um, they, they nourished me with love and care um, while I was trying to recover a very, very traumatic time of my life. My counselors and caseworkers at the Salvation Army spent time with me every week. Um, I would have therapy and we had group sessions. Um, initially, when I was trying to get through all of the, the worst of it, I was in therapy five times a week, and I needed that just so that I could walk out the front door and, and be around other people because people scared me to death at that point. They made me realize that um, I was gonna be okay, I was gonna be safe, uh, that I could get back on my feet and I could take control of my life, which I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm doing things now that I haven't done for over 25 years. I laugh a lot. Um, I'm going back to school. I've got an apartment that, and I am completely self-sufficient again. Um, I, I couldn't see a way to do this before. I couldn't find a way to take care of myself before. I have no idea where I would have been had I not had the Salvation Army's help. And the Salvation Army for me was, was God sent.